Okay, so colour me intrigued. First off, Knights of Neighbors has gone live two days early. Okay, are you taking the proverbial with me on this one? It is coming October 6th, so why make forum posts today about it? October 6th. October 6th. This does not need to be live for another two days. It's the 4th. Well, 5th. Not what I'm interested in. The reason all of these kind of exist, really, even on the PC page, you're going to put Knights of Neighbors is coming October 6th. Think at this point everybody kind of knows this. But where is it? It's not actually even mentioning it in here. The Ghoul Soul Blueprint has been added to the Bash Lab, which is the main reason I'm kind of doing this. The mask now fits in the helmet, helmet slot. That is kind of important. I'm assuming... Nope. The, the pumpkin head, which is what this is, by the way, will not be available till the 6th. It's the 5th. That's, none of this is available till tomorrow. So let's jump in and see if it's on the main page, shall we? Because it's not... Okay, there it is. Thank you. Oh, uh, bye now. That's interesting, but... Weapon bundles now with platinum bonuses available on all platforms. No! <laughs> These skins were free. Or you... Yeah, okay. No. And I will admit, I love these skins. The flak cannon from Unreal Tournament going on to the Dragoon looked amazing. The fact it changes the projectiles out of all of these skins, this is my favourite because it changes the projectiles on every single one of them. You're not going to work, are you? Because I clicked out of the window. Ah, typical. The, sh the rocket launcher looks amazing, has a good animation behind it. Not going to show it because I still think it should have fired three rockets as the actual one in the game does in Unreal Tournament. Because it still spins around but it only shoots one. Yes, it's a skin for the Ogress, but it's still an amazing skin. And then we have... Is it the Stolta this goes on to? By far, visually, the best of these skins. I know... I've said I prefer the flak cannon, but that's because in Unreal Tournament, the flak cannon was the weapon that if I got, I became kind of undefeatable. Depending on the map, sometimes with the sniper rifle. Probably that, but normally the flak cannon. Taking out people with the rocket launcher at ease. Oh, I love that thing. Hence, I still love that skin, but this one, it just fixed everything that was wrong with the Stalter. And that explosion from its alternate fire is absolutely amazing. But, yeah, I hate the fact it doesn't just automatically go there when you click on this, so we have to do this again. Yeah, they have returned yet again for a limited time. And we are looking for a date on here. They are available... Oh, oh... That's a biggie. Get the skins today before they are gone for good on November 1st. Does that mean this is the final time they are returning? One thing I am also looking for, because what I was reading says available on all platforms for a limited time. These have now been available for free on all platforms prior to this. So if you missed them then, it is a little bit... Just a little bit unfair because it's now inside of a pack that comes with platinum. There is the skin for the Stolta, the Ogress, the Dragoon. It also comes with the Stolta, the Ogress and the Dragoon. Essential crit chance mod bundles and 7 day affinity booster. The price of this is actually exactly the same price. Can you flip back over now please? Back onto... No, you're just not going to come off that screen and go back to the image you were before. There it is. Thank you. It flips the card back over. I knew there was a way of doing it. To get this bundle is exactly the same price as buying 370 Platinum. So for the price of 370 Platinum, you can get 250 Platinum and a 7 day Affinity Booster and these skins if you want them. They're not free this time around, but they have been free once before. If you didn't claim them then, then 
yeah, it is a bit sucky for them to now be behind a paywall, but kind of like everything else that's on this, all of these kind of go away. I'm saying all of these go away. Most of these have, uh, were supposed to have ended. I'm pretty sure the, well, there's the Prime Access, Prime Vault, yeah. Tons of these have gone, and this is only going to be around for the rest of the month, and then it will be gone forever. But we'll go in, we'll have a look, Fast Travel, Bash Lab, and in here, yep, there they are. Costing exactly what it cost before, apart from the, f oh no, that's research costs. Okay, that's actually ridiculously cheap. And there's no, you have to research the parts before you can research the blueprint. How long will it take to actually, if I just contribute all of these quickly, alloy plates, um, okay, uh, that has a lot itself. Yeah, three day timer on them. Sadly, there is a three day timer on this. And it seems the one part that's going to be slightly problematic would be the engine because it needs 22,500 cryotic. This is for a... Is it a mountain clan, not a moon clan? Because they that will cost a lot more. Hence, I'm trying to get it done now before they rectify it to, and turn around and say the multiplier wasn't working. Because the bigger the clan, the higher the cost for these. But cryotic, I've got 23,000. I really don't want to do this. But I would regret it if I didn't. So the ghoul saw now lives in its new home, which is inside of the bash lab. It is now a dojo weapon. Also, one of the other reasons for doing this that I nearly completely forgot about, but this is one of the kind of problems with Razorback turning up at the same time, it means this video is going to be delayed. It was supposed to be up in an hour's time and I've literally just set that one live, so this may be a little bit late. Where is it? It's not actually showing up. And what I'm referring to format-wise is, and the best way to put it is, when you format your frames at the moment, because I don't know if this is actually live, it resets everything. Mo the mastery rank stays the same because it's already been mastered, you can't gain more mastery from it, but the abilities, you start off with the first ability at level basically unranked. There's nothing done. What is going to happen here is Warframes, Arcwings and Necromex depending on your mastery, when you format them, will have access starting at mastery rank 10, you will have all abilities unlocked when you format something. Though, they won't be at full strength for mastery rank 10. As you level up your mastery rank, the abilities will become stronger and stronger when you format a frame, but by the time you get to mastery rank 30, when you format a Warframe, an Arcwing, or a Necromech, they're basically going to start off with max abilities and all abilities. So this, before anybody says it, is a sucky build. She's not finished. She's nowhere near as she is supposed to be. I cannot think of what polarity to put in here, but the only way to find out... First off... There. And yes. And I'm going to put a dash in right there. I don't think this has been added yet, but we will find out very quickly by just going to abilities and rank zero locked, rank zero locked. So the format changes have in fact not been added to the game. And I'm not really sure why they would put it up here. Yes, it has a counter until it begins, but why call the update? 30.8, the Knights of Neighbors, when Knights of Neighbors doesn't start for two days. It seems a little bit weird that they have done that, considering now we have to come back when it does start, instead of just having one thing that covers kind of it all. Weird. But, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.